No, I definitely did not feel listened to for the most part because in many cases, in my experience, I can't speak for every, you know, everyone, but a lot of times um, physicians or medical professionals will feel as though you are ignorant. And in the beginning, I definitely was. Those first few years, absolutely, 100%. But as time went on, I was not. I would make sure that I was listening, being aware, but there was all almost that assumption as if you're you're not supposed to know anything. So you didn't really get heard until you start using terminologies and being able to properly and appropriately use them in a way that they see, okay, wait, wait, she does know what she's talking about. And then things change a little bit. And then sometimes they don't want to talk to you anymore. You know, sometimes they want to cut the conversation off, cut it short. Because it's like, oh, wait, <laughs> she actually knows what we're talking about. She knows what she's talking about. Let's cut the conversation off. So the one physician uh, or two, really, that I remember uh, specifically that were open and, and listened, they were so incredible. But they were the minority when it came down to all of the physicians that we, we, that we dealt with. They were just two out of having oh my gosh, I don't know how many physicians because in the end, I think my son had somewhere around 12 specialists that those were different people over the course of years. And out of all of that time, there was literally two that made you feel like a human. They made you feel like an equal. They made you feel actually like a partner in the care of your child and not just another person to check off the list that you saw today right? You're not a number. You're an actual being. How would you coach parents who were the parent that you were for what to do when you're not being listened to? The first thing is one to educate yourself. I can never say it enough. That's the first thing. And allowing yourself time along the way. And I've talked to parents before about it and just helping them through the process breathing through it first thing because it's a lot and sometimes we sit back and we're not breathing we're just we're, we're coasting and our heart is like can you give me oxygen please <laughs> so i'll tell them take a deep breath it's gonna be it's gonna be okay and when they take that deep breath they realize that they haven't taken a breath in how however long but that's definitely the first step and then going over the process of what it looks like and letting them know that you can not only go in there with your own knowledge, but if you need to take an advocate with you, because sometimes that helps. And it's not for anyone to be invasive or, you know, you know try to charter over into your private life, but sometimes it helps just to have that extra person in the room so that you can see how they can interact. And this person is someone that needs to know about the medical field or just whatever it is that your child may be going through, but have them in there to help you through that conversation. Because some people like me at that earlier, earlier stage, I was meek and so timid. And it's easier then to have someone that can advocate with you. So to not necessarily take your voice away as the parent, but be there with you to help you bring your voice out. Because a lot of people don't realize that they can do that or they didn't even think about it. I've had that happen with parents that even just for like the, you know, ARD meetings for their children at school. You don't have to go and sit in that round table and be completely bombarded by this table of professionals and you're just sitting there like, oh my God, what's going on? You can bring someone with you, that's totally fine. And then once you have that, build yourself up to where you can talk because once you build up that respect for yourself, which is also that respect that's gonna be there for your child, that physician is gonna see that. And if they don't, maybe you need to get another physician. You know, and it's okay to not go to that physician anymore. It's totally fine. 